Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Trials of Mana. And like I said, we are now, I believe, in front of Ghostwind Hall. So let's uh, get in there, see if we can move around those statues. <laughs> and more importantly, is the statue that's blocking the way before, is it gone? Was Dom Perry being right? And if he's right, how did he know? Well, we'll find out. Not uh, how he knew, but if the statue is actually gone. Okay, we've already been down there. And it's gone! I think Don Perry knows a lot more than he's le uh, that is letting us believe, so... But at least now we can get on the inside. Wind statue? I think the Korapokors are off the Sylphid themselves and they destroyed the statue and he was just leading us the other direction because he was afraid and we'll get there first. Eh, I, I think uh, those little devils are a lot more tricky than uh, we let them to believe. <laughs> Alright, let's heal ourselves up. Not necessary. Why is the wind so strong in a cave? to figure out this wind to move forward okay so it does show us uh, how the wind actually works and then it pushes us away so we can use it to our advantage in another fight okay, we do need to be careful with zombies because they are very poisonous Let's look at the map. It's going to be a very big map, so it seems. Seven chests, one destination. Okay, so let's get down here. I'm going to believe that this one is going to take us back to the beginning. Of course. This is probably just uh, for an easier way back. Okay, so we have a statue there. I think it's one of those gargles, and now that we know it changes hidden objects, now we can interact with it. Assuming, but I think it's right. Okay, so let's get back. And I really want to see if we can actually walk past this wind. We can. The wind in the other game was so powerful, it just you couldn't go against it and would push you all the way back to where it could blow. Here we could walk slightly against it. Is it going to be for all winds or are some winds going to be a lot harder? Let's see, we can just walk against it. Okay. Okay, so the button changes every wind in the cave. Okay, that's good to know. Ah, this is the wind I'm talking about. Blowing so hard that you cannot go past it. Okay, that's what I want to see. Because if you can walk against the wind, it will defeat the purpose of those things being there. So, thank you, game, for giving me what I want. <laughs> A proper puzzle. Silver item seed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot to, to uh, sleep at the inn for the silver seed. Oh, but now we have two. It's gonna be interesting next time to use it. Nah, that's better. I was already poisoned. Fifteen. 
the money, beautiful. These little gnomes have a shield. Okay. Of course you won. One chocolate. Alright, beautiful. Okay, so this is where we came from. So we do need to flip the switch in order to move ahead. We already picked up the chest that was behind a wooden statue, so we can now easily go ahead. Okay, so if we want to go this way, we need to split it once again, but then from this side. This one is so annoying. Clever, clever, a little puzzle. It is now the chest on the other side, the uh, block from the wind. Oh no, we can just walk around it, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, couple of wishes, beautiful. Let's check if we can actually interact with uh, the statue. What is it going to show us? A new path appeared. Nice. It's uh, way back to the beginning. Always nice. I always like my shortcuts. But let's move on, because we know where it is. We've already been there. We checked it before. Should have responded when I saw. Ooh, accidentally almost. We need Sophie's power now more than ever. We really do, we really do. This wish! Leave it to me, Wookiees! Be gone! This ought to help! One down! Two, one, beautiful! Okay, so she knows that you're there, so I'm gonna assume that's also gonna be for a shortcut. So that is where we're gonna end up in a moment. Let's see, we can not go through there, we'll be blown off the beaten path. So let's switch it. We cannot jump to the other side, there's nothing there. And of course, a chest here where we need to come back for. I know what to do. Close one. Cool. No, I might as well use. No, not that one. This one. There was the reason why I bought so many of those earlier. Okay, just uh, switch and one shiny. That's good, we can use that. Okay, so if the game allows us, let's go back and pick up that chest we just left behind there. <gasps> Cactus boy! How the, how the hell did you get there? Do we need to blow ourselves to the other side? do we get there? 
Aww. I have an eye there. <laughs> Okay, that doesn't go as, not even halfway uh, through it. Hmm. thinking is that maybe we need to use the wind in order to make that jump. <gasps> but this here, to that side, is too far. Could this be a better one? Definitely didn't get us any further. <laughs> I almost feel like uh, we need to flip the switch and then jump from this side in order to get there because it is close but just not far enough. Okay, so let's uh, go forward, flip the switch, go back and see if we can make the jump like that. It's going to be a bother if these enemies we've returned, because it's probably going to take us a few tries. But, uh, hey, you know my motto? Never leave a cactus boy behind. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> First thing after I said that, go the other way. <laughs> Alright, the Lumina time of day. And what I'm hoping for is if we will uh, jump that way, the gust from here will propel us a bit forward. So. It stopped us mid air. Hmm, hmm. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was far away. <laughs> and we finally made it. God damn. That was a long time. I think, what, five to ten minutes? We're just trying, but we've got here. We are at the Cactus Boy, and we've done it. We kept our promise of never leaving a cactus boy behind, so <laughs> let's grab him up. Alright, let's see. One more, one more to occasionally two time the boosting experience. Which, let's be honest, we do not actually need because we, we are getting levels by the buttload, yeah. But it will lead us to our next prize. Maybe is occasionally more money. Hmm? Okay, now do we need to remember... We did like, what? 100 uh, jumps for it, so there could be other places where we need that kind of jumping capabilities as well. The thing was that we needed to uh, jump at the utmost point before hitting the wind and then jump towards where we needed to go. So uh, we need to keep it in mind in case the game uh, wants to do it a second time for us in search for another chest or something. This is starting to look complex. Alright, I'm sure we can do this. With the knowledge we just learned from getting our little cactus boy. 
This should definitely help us. Hmm. Why do I feel like uh, if you want that sparkle, we'll need to work for it. Ah. Ah, not a bad. Careful! Ooh! Almost uh, jump off the thing. <laughs> Ooh! A chain vest! Nice! Is that uh, for Kevin? I think it is. Two and three. Beautiful! Okay, let's flip the switch. Put everything back again. So this probably what happened uh, last time we had a copy night. Maybe one of uh, the others used uh, their uh, CS move. A new path. Beautiful. Yeah, when we need to get back later on outside of the dungeon, it's going to be so much faster. Ooh, save point. We got all the chests. Oh, the mana stone! Okay, uh, we, we do need to save this, just in case. Because <laughs> uh, there might be a boss fight along the way. <laughs> and if not, maybe we can actually class change and we need to make a decision. Also in the other game, uh, a class change always gave you the opportunity to go to di two different directions, a light and a dark side. Is it going to be here the same? And will it show you what the consequences are, or do we need to figure it out ourselves? What's that? It's a mana stone! This is the first one I've ever seen in person, too! Huh. If the Benevadon sealed within were freed, the whole world would be in such danger. Uh, don't say that. Oh, I'm sorry. We're doing what we can to stop it, after all. Come on! Silphid must be nearby! Wait just a second. Are these footprints? I think they're headed this way. Let's check them out. Okay, switching classes. Use the monostone around the world to switch to a different class. Each time you change to another class, your character will become stronger. Class 2, level 18 or higher. We are higher. And class 3, level 38 or higher plus the necessary class item. Yes. A necessary class item is where I made a guide for in the previous game. Which I am very curious to see if in this one is going to use the exact same, I won't say reasoning, but uh, availability. So that you need to grind, so we need to find a place to grind the necessary items. Or if it's tied to um, the seed bank at the inn, which maybe we need to level it up to a certain level to rest assured that we get certain types of class items but yeah we'll have to see that for now let's interact let's see if we uh, what we can become who is switching classes all of us let's but uh, let's start with Kevin try to switch your class okay reset class oh
So which one do we choose? Ah, okay, here it is. This is what I wanted. An explanation <laughs> on uh, what the change will uh, give us. Uh, a monk or a brawler? Monk is the light, brawler is the dark. So, a balanced warrior class, good at both healing magic and fighting. Most can support both themselves and their allies during battle. A class that relies on brute strength. Brawlers learn attack focus ability, they do a lot of damage when they go forth in battle. So, uh, we will get the locked abilities indignant. Attack increases if allies faint. Uh, spin attack, enemies in the area of attack get caught up in a whirlwind of kick. Locked abilities. Mutiny. Attack increases by 15% if HP drops below 50. Uh, Abyssal Slice. Countless hits and somersault attack combo to damage the enemy. Uh, statistics. HP go higher. Strength 4, strength 8. Well, uh, let's be honest. I've made my decision a long time ago what I wanted. And you should have already guessed by how I distribute my points over the characters, which way I want to go with each character. I'm gonna go him all the way to dark. Next level, maybe different, depends on the explanation we're gonna get, but this, Kevin is definitely gonna be a brawler. And I like this costume a lot more. And not just for his uh, smug little laugh he has right now. Yes, two extra slots, new abilities and stuff. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. We can finally use our training points to go directly to the core of the thing, of what we want. Because I think we now have, what, seven, eight points we can uh, distribute? But. Um, I will do that between episodes and we'll show you guys next time how we did that. For now, let's switch the other two as well. I think that's more important. Who is switching classes? No. Try to switch no, your class. No. Oh, you wanna wait? That's yeah, okay. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button. Who is switching classes? Charlotte. Try to switch your class. And of course, with her, I really would like to uh, go with more like healing uh, centric, so she has better healing abilities, more power in that direction. So yes, probably light. But let's see what the description says. Uh, a supportive healing class. Priestesses have a high spirit stat that increases their healing powers. They can use fire, water, earth, and wind saber magic to help their allies with more than just recovery magic. Enchantress, a class for a fighter healer. In addition to healing, enchantresses can learn attack magic. They are powerhouses that can take down enemies on their own if at all necessary. Attack and magic increase 10% when affected by status. Superfast sprinting does damage in areas of attack. Adds 10% of an uh, C gauge when casting healing magic. Stagger enemies with a damaging flail attack. Well, I'm already decided, of course, I want to go healing, so is it going to be a priestess? But the Enchantress is not bad either, but yeah, I want to have one character that's fully towards healing. That uh, whenever we need healing, we get the most out of it, so yeah, for her, I want a priestess. And like I said, uh, next with Kevin, uh, next uh, class change might be going in a totally different direction, going towards the dark. If I see that the healing we do right now is more than enough. <laughs> and uh, she also gets a really nice new getup. She does look like a little bit more grown up, does she? <laughs> And I just noticed CS gauge 300%. So that means if we fully load it, we can do three massive hits on our enemies if we want. Or 
or the new skill maybe needs two. That could also be a thing, but uh, we'll figure it out classes? along the way. Angela? Try will I go for class. what I want, or will I go for the most sexiest costume with her? <laughs> Let's see. Those costumes are pretty sexy, so yes. Sorceress. A class with a variety of spells. Sorcerers can use different types of elemental magic to attack their enemy's weakness. Mysticists. Mysticists are good at hindering enemies and proficient with dark spells. They can learn abilities that use their own HP to increase the damage of their spells. Uh, Lock ability. Wrath. Magic attack and defense increase if ally falls. Uh, Pommel star. Magical stars appears and bombard the enemies dealing damage. Locked ability. Damage from mid increase 15% when MP is at 100%. So basically, uh, her first magic attack based upon a new pool is going to be the strongest one. And uh, Magical Heart appears and explodes, damaging to the enemies. HP with Dark is higher. Our, sorcerer, uh, our intelligence is higher with the Sorceress. Overall, this test looks better for the mysticist, but uh, I don't like the part that she uses her own HP in order to get that damage. So I'm gonna go with light for now. I think later when we have the books, we can determine if uh, we want to reset everything and go towards mysticism and then straight towards the next class. Because if you've seen the tree, the level class level three is gonna have four different. Uh, classes you can pick from, and seeing as we can easily reset right now, I don't think that was a ball in the law in the older version. We can always reset, go with mysticism, and go with one of those two uh, lanes as well. So when we get to the proper level and we have the items, we have a lot of checking to do before we actually make a choice. But for now, with her, it's gonna be sorceress. I do like this dress a little bit more than the other one. Personal preference and such? <laughs> Love Typhoon. We got our class changes in. Uh, we got a lot of stats to uh, divide, so I'm gonna do that between this episode and the next one. And when we get back ne on next time, I will show you uh, where I put all my points in, so you know what we chose. And of course, uh, we're gonna put ah, the skills are already there. Beautiful. Uh, do we have? Hmm. Only she has. Uh, Enough room for one. Let's test it out. There's a real one. Let's help each other. Right. Okay, so the level two one does actually need to use it. Okay, so that uh, does. Uh, Show us why they need to go to level uh, 300 HP, 300 uh, percent of CS gauge. No problem. That was just a little test. All right. So um, I'm gonna save the game right here. And like I said, between episodes, I'm gonna divide the training points. Uh, check out the intricacies of the class change, mainly uh, what do we put in our extra uh, skill slots. 
and where do we leave the points? That's mainly, that's mainly the things we need to focus on between the two episodes. And like I said, when we get back, I'll show you guys what that's going to be next time. Because I do believe when we follow the trail of human feet, I think we're going to need to fight another boss. So it's, it's good to have the training points and a skill set up for then. But that's going to be next time. I really do hope to see you there then. But until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Till next time.